Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. And today we're back with Oxygen Not Included. Ah, uh, I love this game. I can't say it often enough. It's just so good. So let's just jump right into it, see where we left off, and see what we can improve today. All right, and here we are. Our wonderful base is still standing. We started to farm, we started to research some stuff. We even dug out a little hole right here so we can put in some storage bins and get rid of all this stuff here. All this stuff here that is just on the floor laying around. And when we take a look into the decor overlay here, you see all this red here? That's coming from all the crap that's laying around on the floor. All this stuff here. When that goes, our decor goes up. And if our decor goes up, the morale of our dupes goes up. That will be very important because if you look into the duplicate skill, Ruby here, for example, has another skill level. So we can give her improved carry. She loves improved carry. So she gets one moral point and it costs her one moral point. You can see it here. We have one moral, but if I do it, we get moral one plus one and moral need zero plus one. But if I, for example, go rocket piloting, we have one moral and we need one more. That's not good. We want to always have more moral than we need. So you get your improved carrying and we're going to give you your carrier's hat. Does everybody have their upgraded hats yet? That's very important. Hats are very, very important. You don't have an upgraded hat, I believe. Yeah, you're, you're, you're crop tending. That's your new hat. And you here, you have a hat. You're a level, all the others are level one. Okay, perfect. So what do we need to build next? We have a little problem here. Our mealwood body temperature is too low. It says here that the body temperature needs to be between 10 and 30 degrees. If we look, our air around here is only two to five degrees warm. That's not good. Over here, it's a little bit warmer, but we have so much ice here all around us. Everything here, that's all ice, polluted ice. It cools down our place drastically. So what we need is coal. So let's take a look. Here we have a bunch of coal laying, for example, and a bunch of copper. We need that as well. So we're going to just come over here and have the dupes dig out all this stuff here. And we're going to have it. And then after that, we can just take our ladder and go a little bit further down. But right there is water, so that's not optimal. And right here is our water reservoir, which is also not optimal. Hmm. So where are we going to build it? We may just go down anyway just not so deep. I would have liked to go a little bit deeper, but it'll be okay. And we're gonna build it all the way down. And tell him to dig out the left and the right side of it. Now we can start to measure a little bit in case later on we want more of our um, cots here. So we're gonna give it a one, two, three, four high space, build one right there. One, two, three, four high space, build one right there. Let's take a look at our Cherm overlay. If any of this uh, slime here has some slime lung in it. Slime lung is a disease, not very good for our dupes, so we want to avoid it. It looks like we don't have any. It's probably too cold for it. Yeah, that slime is negative 25 degrees. No slime that I know will survive on that. And our research is done. We get the power transformer, the heavy wet wire, all that kind of stuff that we will need later on to supply our base with electricity without having somebody here in the hamster wheel just running and then falling down. That was a quick trip to the hamster wheel. First of all, I want to do one extra thing though. We need to see solid materials, liquids, gases. What I want is the airflow tile. The airflow tile, if you take a look at our oxygen overlay, this area here is nice and light blue. It has a bunch of gas in it. The problem is that the gas is so light that it will just barely seep down. So if we build airflow tiles everywhere here in the middle, our CO2 has an easier time of going down, all the way down, of course, all the way down here, this pit here. I mean, this is literally just a death hole. You go down there, you're going to choke to death in a heartbeat. But also our oxygen can slowly but steadily seep through the whole base. You don't believe it? Oh, we'll wait until we got it and you will see. But right there, we want to have three. Here we want to have three. And then for all I care, also here we want to have three. And then on this side here, 
we want to build down with our ladder all the way well not that far <laughs> that's a little bit too far maybe kind of too like there and then a fire pole right beside it all the way up usually i would be deadly worried about the slime here but since it's so cold in this biome there's just no slime lung it's perfect and then we're gonna build all this stuff here over there great now you're gonna tell him to dig it out too high all of this all of this and we may as well give him an extra free space right on this side great that is our very basic very very basic setup for our power supply of the base believe me it's gonna be glorious right here now we have space for our transformer and here we have our airflow tiles our airflow tiles are about one two three four one two three four one two three four and one two three four and then we're gonna leave another two spaces and immediately build us another one of these here just a floor so we can go straight across wonderful and we also have new skills who leveled up Harold did he's now a super hard digger very good you deserve a new hat and so does Turner Turner also deserves a new better hat wonderful we ran out of research and it's time to get a little bit of decor going on around here and the first thing that we want is going down to here all the way through here here we're gonna get the sculpting block and the crown molding those are two very important pieces that we're gonna put in here very shortly room overlay here are all the different rooms one can build we want to build a mess hall or even better to say a great hall and you can see that this over here because it has doors a floor and a roof counts as barracks and it gives one extra moral and because this one here also has walls and doors it counts as a latrine it's uh, giving us extra moral just for doing nothing as soon as we go up here though all this ice here will melt or better to say it will fall down and then eventually melt and flood our base we don't want that so we're just gonna put a storage bin down there and we're just gonna put all the ice that we find into here all the ice all the snow it can all go in into this water here that's fine it will melt eventually and replenish our water supply unless of course we freeze it to death and we make ice out of it gotta be aware of that as well so we have five tubes but only four washrooms so let me really quick build another one of those all right the basic outline is here all we need to do now is put in those three tiles and our setup is once again complete that is the beauty about the setup here with having on the left or on the right it doesn't really matter your bedrooms because you can build all your utilities behind it and here in the bottom we finish the storage bin so we're gonna go in here and go through all the stuff here and find liquefiable and we tell them put ice and snow in there with a priority of nine the moment you see ice lying around or snow somewhere grab it and put it into there that's what we want to do eventually i want to pump that water over here somewhere honestly well why don't we do that we don't need this here anymore we have more than enough bathrooms so this is completely pointless right now so let's get rid of it and then uh, let's build a nice reservoir over there as soon as the research over here is done but max is hard at work pressing the buttons pulling the levers doing all the things that apparently scientists do <laughs> i can tell you that's not what engineers do uh but uh it may be true for scientists sure why, why couldn't it be and more and more of our food is going out and will not grow anymore because the body temperature is too low we need to generate some heat down here and we need to do it fast i already gave it higher priority but before this here is built none of it matters and it is night and all five of our dupes are sleeping and snoring and exhaling co2 that's what they like to do every time you see a little breath coming out of their mouth that is co2 all right so it's almost time for a new dupe that's gonna be good but before we do that we want to build storage bins we want to build three and three and four and three and three 
And we want to duplicate the whole thing just one level lower. Wonderful. Just like that. And then furniture. We want to take the... Let's get rid of all this stuff here. Don't want the exclamation points. We can just pull sculpting blocks everywhere. Let's just slap them in there all around to make our storage bin area be a little bit nicer because our dupes are going to be there a lot. Later on, they're going to get everything there and they're going to bring everything to there. Currently, we are building a lot of stuff at once, so they really don't have time to mess with this stuff. But later on, oh, it's going to be a lot. And then our supercomputer, and we can now go ahead and go to solids, solid material. I believe it is. Maybe not. Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Where is our insulated tile? Gases. Not sure why that would be under gases, but apparently it is. Well, so we're going to go up here and get our insulated tile. And after that, we're going to get the carbon skimmer. But how we use those, I will tell you and show you as soon as we have them researched. I'm going to hook up a second oxygen diffuser. Our oxygen is slowly getting better. We can see that now the area extended quite a bit, but it's still not optimal by any stretch of the imagination. So we're going to hook another one up here to a wire. And we have another storage bin to put in more algae when we get it. If we look on our oxygen overview, all this is carbon dioxide. All this here is carbon dioxide. It has nowhere to go. It sank all the way to the bottom. But what we can do is, though, at least this top part here can stay with a little bit of oxygen so our dupes don't suffocate immediately. So I'm just going to give this area here a higher priority to get this here done first. And as soon as we break through here, all this CO2 will drain down, hopefully, and we will get some oxygen in there. So that has just happened, and we should almost be able to watch it go down and the bigger, of course, the gap is, the better it is. And hopefully it will fill up with oxygen soon. And here we can really nicely see that this polluted oxygen in here. Polluted oxygen is not bad, per se, not in this world. Um, it will transfer slime lung. Good thing is we don't have any slime lung, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> but it uh, accumulates on the top because it is lighter than CO2 carbon dioxide. And therefore, it goes up. Our printing pod is ready. Do we have something good this time? Digging and researching, researching and operating. Eh, none of that's really good. But it has increased strength and construction, so you here may actually be interesting to us. So yeah, we're going to print you. Welcome to the team. What's your name? Nails. Welcome to the team, Nails. There we go. Now we have six dupes that are running around and do our bidding. Perfect. All right, beautiful. We have our first coal generator and the second one just finished. And I already put in the heavy watt wire. The heavy watt wire can carry lots of load. I think it is 1,000. 20 kilowatts of power is what this wire here can carry. So we're going to come over here. We're going to come all the way up and connect it into there. That's wonderful. And these here, these power transformers here, they are converting or limit the power flow to 1000 watts. Why 1000 though? 1000 is because in the power, when we look at our normal wire here, can hold exactly 1000 watts. So that's why we have those transformers here in. It takes the incoming energy. We can add on more and more and more coal generators, as many as we need. But this here will only ever output 1000. So we can build a wire over here and when the rest of our system is ready, we can hook it up. What we can also do is, we have our insulated tile, that's very good. But that's not what I meant. I meant what we can also do is, take those Chumbo batteries here. And we can just plop a few of those in. When I mean a few, I mean a lot of them. Like here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one. Those generate lots of heat, which is usually bad. But on this particular map here, it's not so bad because we need the heat. It needs to get a little bit warmer up here. And we're going to build another level right here, just so there is more space for our air to circulate and for our heat to transfer from the bottom up. And these storage bins here, 
we are going to find where is it at consumable ore and we set it to coal only with a priority of seven and we're going to copy the settings into there so wherever there's coal laying around now we are putting the coal into here so it's right beside our coal generators which is exactly where we want that stuff to be in the first place we are not generating any oxygen but look how much it has grown just from having two of those two of those are doing us really good here we just need to keep them running and the easiest way to do that is with our generator and our last research is done let's see what we got and what makes sense to get next i think we wanted to have the carbon skimmer that's right that's what we're going to research next and we just watch how the air slowly but steadily fills up this whole area here with nice wonderful breathable oxygen we're gonna build four up come all the way over and then excavate all of this stuff here all of it yep get rid of it so we're gonna leave a three place space and build double doors one two three and double doors just like that we need the water cooler i'm gonna put that right there and then we're gonna get mess tables and we're gonna build one two three on each side one for each dupe and this here should be a mess hall let's see is, what is what are the other requirements nothing that's all it needs wonderful good so that can be built as well so now i think we're just gonna let him build all this stuff and go then from there well after we give out this last skill here well actually three skills available holy cow so we get better farming which puts our morale pretty much out the window but improved carrying would be okay so let's do that nails what can you do you're a researcher and a tinkerer so you get improved tinkerer and of course you get a new hat who did we just upgrade harold no dave yeah you're gonna stay our crop tender and ruby can get improved carrying it definitely deserves new orange hat all right our jumbo battery army is ready and i also had him build a ration or two ration box down there and all we're gonna do is copy the settings from the top one to the bottom one and tell him to deconstruct this one here just so we can finish this area right there what we also need to do is enable this building here again and as soon as it's enabled we can turn down the priority on it quite drastically to a number seven now currently we are only filling up our batteries and you can see here how our power is going up in those chumbo batteries each one of them holds 40 kilojoules yeah that's not a small number and we will also see here over time how these batteries here are and these uh, coal generators on the bottom here will heat up currently they're really cold because they have just been standing there so that makes perfect sense that's absolutely normal now that we have some power in there i think that it would make sense to connect this here in and free up another dupe from running in the hamster wheel so get out of that hamster wheel and actually deconstruct it go into the power menu grab a wire and connect the wire over then we might as well go to deconstruct and say we only want to rip out power wires and we only want to do that right there wonderful and we have another print available so let's take a look you have coal and you have copper you still have 14 tons of copper and there's a ton more laying around so we should go for coal unless we have a really good dupe building plus nine that doesn't hurt increase medicine also not bad but i don't think we need it and over here mechatronic skills level three i don't think we need it i think we're gonna go for coal we're gonna print us a quick and easy three tons of that stuff wonderful so what we can also do is we can take a look at this wire here and it says your current load and potential load the potential load is if every building that is hooked up to this wire here is turned on at the exact same time so maximum it can ever have is 420 but it only uses about 120 to 240 because only those two here are running you're not researching anything so i would say take a look what next we couldn't need we will definitely need plumbing so yeah that's what it's gonna be yes absolutely we're gonna do plumbing and sanitation we're gonna get us some pipes and some pumps that's what we need for our reservoir 
the mesh tile definitely a useful tile to have showers not yet but sinks and lavatories make a proper bathroom out of this here and not just a latrine and down here we are almost far enough if we can give this one here and this one here a little bit higher priority so that I build it, we can actually mark these here up. Well, we can actually do that already. I'm going to pause it for that because I want to do everything. Then there are a few things that I don't want in there, like coal. I don't want coal in there. Coal gets stored on the bottom. What I also don't want is anything at all that's liquefiable. We don't want any liquids in here or nothing that can become a liquid when it heats up. Definitely don't want that. And in organic. We don't want algae. Algae is no good. Algae needs to get stored up, up here where we actually need it. But we can put slime and polluted dirt in there for all I care. Raw minerals, seeds, anything else that we got can go in there. Even critter eggs. Well, critter eggs, they can just lay around wherever they want for, for all I care. That's fine. So now we have this one here set up and we go to copy setting and copy to everywhere. So now when there's nothing to build, there's nothing else to do, or I specifically tell them to, they will go ahead and uh, put all the stuff that's laying around into there. Currently, though, we have quite a lot to build, or at least these ones here. Let's lock the top ones and open the bottom ones. That just makes it a little bit more efficient because the dupes don't have to wait every time they walk through those doors. They're always open, but it still counts as closed. Also, this bath or this wash basin here needs to point to the right and look at that our dupes just completed our um what is this here called again a mess hall i always remember it as a great hall and the mess hall gives our dupes just for sitting in there and eating a wonderful plus three morale what is in here not all organic good grief you should only put algae in there also, here we have everything in there. We want only LG in there. Nothing else. All the other stuff we do not care about. Yeah, now we have food poisoning on it, but it's not a big deal. That doesn't really harm us. What it does harm is our food down here. Do we have here? We have a little bit of food poisoning on our food. The good thing is it's barely any because it is nice and in CO2. And a lot of things don't like to be in CO2. Bacteria is one of them. So this here is actually completed. What we do need right here later on is a fire pole. And we can actually build the fire pole all the way from here to down there. Just so to speed up the process. That's going to be good. And then we need to dig out this whole side here as well. Might as well dig that stuff. And it's all good. Wonderful. Now that that is done, we need to start building our, our water reservoir. Yeah. So you're going to come straight down to here. I'm going to come all the way over there. All the way. Pretty far into the rock. And all the way back up. That is a nice and big water reservoir. We are one short. And especially on the bottom here. We're going to give it a second tile. Not like that. Like that. Just so it can hold more water. And we're actually going to build a little bit higher. And have it high enough. So we're going to put a bunch of water in there. All this ice stuff here is all going to go in there. And to even be able to make that happen is we need to build a ladder on the inside and the ladder all the way across. And then we just tell him to dig up the first four tiles on the top and these two here as well. That should work out just fine. I just got to build it. We have another duplicate skill available. Let's see. Max. Max can do applied sciences or astronomy. I think we're going to go for astronomy this time. Well, actually, we could do rocket piloting. No, now we're going to go astronomy. Yeah, let's do that. Is it a nicer hat? Uh, nah, I've got to think I'm going to stick with this one here. I think you're good, Max. You're good. All right, it seems like it will take a good amount of time for our dupes to build our water reservoir. And uh, at some point, we also got to take care of all this polluted water and stuff that's laying around here. So that is definitely something that needs to come next. And we can do that while this here is working. I have a pretty nice solution up my sleeve for uh, generating, or better to say, for cleaning water. I'm not sure if we can get to that in the next episode, but we will see. We got coal generators. We got heavy watt wire. We have a whole nother level 
on the left side here. That's basically a shaft for our utilities on, on the left here. Later on, also the water will run up here um, for our toilets and our uh, sinks. Everything will go through our utility shaft here on the left. It's going to be glorious. Wait for it. But for now, I think that's it for this episode. So if you enjoy this content, if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. And if you have any tips, tri tricks or feedback for me, leave them down in the comments below. And with that, I say thank you and peace.